Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth episode of this AkiCAD modeling tutorials. My name is Namara Allen. So I am excited today we are going to do some interesting stuff. So previously we added some of the walls that you have here and the columns that are segmented and added some of these beams. So today what we're going to do is add this feature wall to this and then do the roof and then we can do some of the landscaping. So let's get to it. So what you want to do today is first of all create this segment that we left out in the previous tutorial. So in order for us to add this lower transom segment here such that you know these uh, small windows you might want to make this a top hang and then this fixed glass so for us to achieve this you will go to these two windows and then go to the settings by pressing ctrl t or double clicking here or there and then when this is up you want to go to basic window settings and then select shape and then boom there you have it, lower transom, and it's done. You can go in 3D and see what it looks like. And there it is. So now let's begin on the feature wall. So this feature wall, you want to pick the attributes of the existing walls by clicking on that O holding alt and then click on the wall so you start to draw the wall and it is done so when you go to 3d there it is so if you look at the reference you notice that this window is a bit further from this feature wall so we want to reposition our window by using a reference line which you can get from documents and just use a line so previously we had put it in the middle of the room by using this wall and this wall as the reference so now we want to use this new wall so we begin from here and up to there so we pick the wall and then hover over this one before we can control d drag this window to there and that should look much better than before and it is looking better so now let's go to the roof so how do we do the roof so we go up here and instead of using the current reference we want to change by going to choose reference and go to below current flow so this is the footprint that we have on the ground floor so when this is up we want to use the same wall again but this time we want it to be a short wall so you can unlink and then use but i like to just subtract the height here such that you look at the figure which is here so if i want it one meter high i will just subtract two meters from that three meters and i have the one meter height of the parapet wall so let's begin to draw so you want to begin from the middle of the wall so here i want to take it to the middle here and i start to place in these walls that are going to be the parapet walls and the way in which we are going to roof this thing here is that we need a single pitch roof because the whole essence of using a parapet roof is to hide the roof so we can use less material so we are going to have th this roof in two segments we have this portion here which is you as you can see in the reference above the bedroom here and then this which is above the seating so you want to uh we can move this up to here because we want the wall here the walls that we add here should be uh the weight should be carried to the walls which are already existing so if we use this section and then this section should be different and you, as you can see in the reference it's a bit lower than that one so we want to 
go to the settings of the wall and then we increase to something like what negative 2.4 says that it is 600 high or something like that and then let's draw the second portion of that roof and there we we are done so you want to put the final wall at along this side of the feature wall so this the first roof is going to pour its water along this this line which will be collected in this uh, sort of duct that we have created and then the second roof should pour behind and it will be collected from behind so if you look at in uh, 3d this is what we have it's already looking pretty good so let's put in a ceiling first before we put in a roof and i like to put the ceiling by using a slab so you go to slabs and ceiling we can use a gypsum ceiling which can be thinner than thinner than the usual so we use a plaster gypsum and then we can use its def default colors and we say okay so when we do we can now place this ceiling in by first covering the whole area we also add this section here and then you want to just subtract this by moving this point here and this point here and then here you can add another point here and then move this to right there and you have added a ceiling so you can always go and look at what you have done and now we begin the roof so the roof is going to be a simple roof so you go to the roof when you have double clicked it will be here so we want to use a simple one this is a composite option we want a simple one we can reduce the thickness of it and currently it is three meters from the ground which is okay but that means that we will have to place it onto the ground first so let's reduce it and maybe the top of the roof we can enable for it to be tiled so let's go to the floor and then we uh so the way we place in the the roof you want to uh use this first option as opposed to that so when you click on this one you have to first specify the anchor line where the roof is going to sit and then you also click onto the side you have this side and this side where your roof should incline to so i like mine to incline towards this other wall so now we place in the wall by using this third option and there it is and i'm done so i go back to the my roof plan so i can position it even better so i subtract this option this which which i do not need we've left out part of this can move it backward and then we also want to move this in because the last thing you want is that material to show so we can move it in such that it is just before the wall that we have created and we are almost done and we are done so we want to create a, a gutter that is going to run along this wall so in detail you want to have that kind of uh, where the beam is you want to create a gutter that collects the water so we reduce this by about 200 so when we go to 3d so that's the wall the roof that we have created so you want that gutter to run and pour the water in here so let's also do the same thing for this other side so let's specify the anchor line and then we also specify that it's going to move to this other side and then we can cover the whole area 
and when we are done we can start to to position it into this area so you can uh, begin to so you can begin to clear up this other section so you have it in here and yes we're done so position it so well so now even here we want to leave the gutter to run along that wall so 200 and along that you can have the water collected across so a hole can be created in here which by the way you can also put in 3d you can decide to put that hole there by using the opening the new openings tool when you go to the settings you can choose the circular opening and put that hole there but for now i think i am happy with this so we need to reduce the angle of this roof so this roof can be reduced even even six can work okay yeah looks much better so even six degrees can work for our roof and we are good so even this looks quite a lot so we might want to reduce to maybe six or and we get our roof in place that's starting to have shape so let's create uh, the flow so so when you look at the reference we have uh one two three steps so that means if this is 150 millimeters from the ground so you have 150 300 450 so we have 450 to the ground so we have our sitting at the level of 450 from the actual ground so we want to create that level here so how do we create that we go to the ground floor so we first of all create uh, this at the extreme ex exterior let's just expand it to the outer wall and now let's make this uh, the tile thickness position it well tile thickness so let's duplicate it and this time we are going to take it back we take this back such that we have another slab which is going to start from where the the previous one begins and it's going to be 450 so we create that and this time we want to uh, give it a material which is going to be stone you can choose stone 12 for now so if i can show you what that looks like and there we are so we have this layer where we have the, our tiles and then we have here uh, the stone so when you have done that you want to create those steps by using this slab which is on top the second slab here you can alt click here and then escape and start to draw so we want it to be 300 off and another 300 off and these two should be slabs of oh, about 150 so let's do it in 3d so you can see what i'm talking about so you want to orbit and by the other way you you orbit you have to click all such that you can be able to navigate well in in the 3d so you want to uh, select these two so i can move it down by 150 and then also move this one by 150 and there you have it so you want to increase the height of this one you select this height increase and you are done it looks pretty good so we begin to now increase the height of our columns so we take this down 
to ground zero and we have lost its height so you can go back and this time we need to take back this uh, segment to about 50 percent and then also keep this as five percent and uh, that looks great that looks great so you can use a percentage that you like uh, and now we can also bring these walls down so you select them by holding down shift and after that you go to settings and then we also bring it down by 450 and that looks pretty good pretty good so finally in this tutorial we create a ground level so let's go and click on the mesh tool which you find on the design tab here down so double click on the mesh tool so you want to reduce this maybe i can use 500 it doesn't matter because it, you won't even notice it but we want it to be negative 450 which we have chosen as our ground the actual ground and then uh you want to go to the floor plan and uncheck cover fill such that we do not cover our our floor plan so the rest we can use the defaults so we went, we want to first bring back our reference just go and bring back the reference and then we can draw it using these points and position it well so let's stretch it out a bit and we good so when we go to 3d there we have it i think it's coming out so join me in the next one where we finalize this model with uh, the coppings and the coloring of this uh, segment before we can duplicate it